Hello friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Ditly Has Plans. Today, I am facing my fear of filming a plan with me. I have no idea why, but the idea of filming a plan with me video just is so intimidating to me. But we are doing this today, right now. Alrighty, so we are planning the week of December 7th through the 13th in my Plum Paper 7x9 Vertical Hourly Planner. Um, this week I'm featuring Planner Kate Kit 266. This is her Lumberjack Kit. Um, I always get the um, Sheet B, which is the Washi. Um, I have the Sampler, which is Sheet C. And then I also have the Sheet S, which is decorative quarter and half boxes. And then I have sheet T, which is the appointment labels. And then sheet U, which is just the basic labels. Um, I really like this kit. It's super sweet with all of the gingham and buffalo check here. I love the mousse um, and the stickers there. So really excited to kind of start getting um, more of a holiday feel coming in my book. So what I do before I start planning my week is as meetings and things pop up, appointments pop up, I usually put it on a sticker and then stick it on that day in the week that it belongs to. And then right before I start planning, I will go into my Outlook calendar, which is my work calendar, and make sure there weren't any other meetings that were added. Um, so I think I have everything down for the week. Um, and so what I think I'll do is show you some of the tools I use. So I always have a pair of tweezers. These are just um, this was like a set of five different shaped tweezers that I got at Michael's. I think it's just like their Artist Loft brand. Um, I think it was in the jewelry section. And then I do have um, this slice uh, ceramic cutting tool. I got this off of Amazon. Um, so I use that for trimming. And then I'll be using my Villa Beautiful matte white pen that I just got from the new release. And then because I use um, a cutting tool, um, I have a metal ruler. This was just the EC um, metal ruler. And then for whiteout, I have um, the Tombow whiteout. I got like a box of um, 10 from Amazon on that. So, oh, I also have the um, individual um, strip headers, which is sheet N2. I already put the date numbers in there um, just to kind of help me get started. And then I have also just a couple little icons. These are all planner cake and um, that I'll be adding in to the plan as well. Alrighty. So I think I'm going to start with, normally I start with putting the washi up here and then the date headers, and then I'll do my washi down here um, and then the sidebar, and then we'll fill in the appointments. So let's get started. Okay. So this header up here, it's like a skosh wider than a quarter of an inch. So that's why I like using these strips up here because they fit really well. Um, and then here's another one um, that's also the same size. These skinny ones down here are way too skinny. Um, I have used them where I've just whited out the whole thing and then I just put the skinny one down. Um, but these ones fit pretty nicely. So I'm gonna put this mousse one um, up at top and I think I'm gonna put this plaid one um, down below. I wonder if this is dark enough where I have to, I think that, I don't think I need to wipe that purple out. Okay, so disclaimer here, friends, I am left-handed, which means there is a lot of flipping the book upside down when I'm putting in stickers and stuff like that, just so that I can try to work around the coil. Um, it gets kind of challenging for me. I don't know why, but it just is. And then on here, I'll just, I'm just gonna tear that. So that's that one. And then I'll do the next one. Okay, so since this is my first plan with me, friends, tell me, do you like the really chatty ones where they just kind of chat through the whole thing? Or do you like the ones where like they come and they say, here's what I'm gonna do. And then they like speed up the video and they set it to music and then, um, they come back and they tell you kind of what they did. Um, I, kind of, I like watching both actually, to be quite honest. Um, I watch a lot of Laura Plans It and she does that latter version where she just kind of um, puts everything to music and then comes back and tells you what she did. And then I also love, um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, it's Talia Rose or Talia Rose. 
and she like does a lot of the chatty ones where she talks about it what she's doing and kind of gives you an update on what's going on in her life and I, I kind of like it I don't know sometimes I feel like it's a little bit like me being a voyeur into other people's lives but it's kind of fun okay let's see I'm just scooch this over my I always say I have fat fingers so having the tweezers really helps me to kind of put some of these stickers down that's not super straight but it's okay um, I've done it where I've used just the um, the full strip header across and then you just kind of trim it a little bit to fit. And I don't know, sometimes I think that's easier than trying to get all of these individual stickers um, lined up and set up straight. Um, and then I'm really excited because with January, um, Kate has reformatted a lot of her sheets and so she's actually doing um, strip headers that are sized to fit the plum paper seven by nine. So I'm excited because I already bought my January, my January ones. Uh, this one's really off now. I don't know, I'll fix this one. I don't really get too much about it. It's okay. Good enough for government work as we say in our house. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if I made that better or worse. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm gonna put the strip down here. I think normally like I track my, um, I just write down like what we have, what I have for lunch, breakfast and dinner down here. But I think in the new year, I might change that up and I might start putting like some of my social media schedule, like just remembering to post on Instagram and like when I'm filming and editing and uploading videos to YouTube. Um, I have a social media section in the back of this book, but I kind of like having it where I schedule myself. Okay, so that's the basics. And then over here, I think I'm gonna highlight which week we're in, which this is now week two. Okay, so I think I have my mild liners here. I pulled out red and brown. I think I'm gonna highlight the current week in brown. So that's the seventh through the 13th, wow. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna mark Christmas. Christmas is, and Christmas Eve, I think, because we usually do a special dinner on Christmas Eve too, just so I know the countdown. So I like using this calendar for that. And then on this sidebar here, I think I'm gonna do this week. I switch, sometimes I do don't forget, sometimes I do this week. Um, I'm going to put that, I think I that there. <clears throat> and then down here I wanna use this for sure. I can't decide if I wanna put this here or Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is put this down here. It's a little wide, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna use, should I do, or I kinda wanna use the darker. I'm gonna use some of this. Just going to cover the top there like that. Okay, um, this bigger one, I think I'm gonna cut instead of tear. There we go. Oh, I like that. Okay, and then I usually do habit trackers here that I just do with my highlighters. And so I think I'll keep going with the brown. And then this is just a little template that I got from Erin Condren. Um, and so I just kind of use this. And what I do is, um, oops, I'm gonna have to move this over. I'll do little boxes. And then, 
I do a little I like that and then I'll write in like I think um, I usually do reading and then my water and then walking my dog Otis okay and then I will probably just put a couple of little squares here for little to do's I make homemade um, candied nuts and I put them in little um, quilted um, canning jars mason jars and so I need to get moving on those that's what I need to do this week um, okay so I have that I'm gonna put down here's where I track my mills so I just I don't put the little fork and knife on every day I just kind of put it down here and that symbolizes that it's there for the whole week and then I do that again here okay what's next um, probably the weekend batter Let's see, I think I'm gonna use this lighter gingham. Oh, let me do, I know what I need to do. I like to mark off sort of my, I work typically from eight to four. And so I kind of like to highlight that, like block it off. Um, should I put, I think I'm gonna put the darker up here. So, and then what I do is I use that seven out that seven o'clock that's where the hour is and I use that to um, track my walks okay. and up here I don't work on Saturday and Sunday obviously I only work Monday through Friday but I do it all the way across the top up here like I said because I like to use this um, space up here where the seven o'clock hour is to do my walks all the way across. I try to walk every day, um, but I don't always, um, I do more so than not. I'm pretty good, but, um, okay. And then maybe I think I want to kind of do a little bit of a lighter color cause it's getting kind of dark down here. So down here, I'll do this one. I'm trying not to flip the book around upside down too much for you guys. <laughs> I don't want anyone getting motion sickness. And then I have my review to, during this week. That's always fun. Okay, and then I'm just going to go to here because it's the weekend. Okay, so that's blocking that off. And then should I continue with the brown? Um... Or should I give it a little bit of color? It's getting really brown. So what I do here, just for some fun, is I will um, I just kind of put highlighter in here. Just to give me a little splash of color. Um, and that's where I log. It's so crazy because I don't have like an Apple Watch or a Fitbit. I have a Garmin, but I haven't used it in years. Um, so I just use like the steps app on my phone. Um, and I walk the same route every day. Just sometimes I, it's, it's basically a big circle. Sometimes I walk it counterclockwise. Sometimes I walk it clockwise and every day it comes out different. The distance, I mean, it's roughly, it's probably just over a mile. I don't know that it's actually a mile and a half, but sometimes I get up to like 1.6 and I'm like, that can't be real. But it's funny to me because um, I am literally walking the same loop down the same exact streets and um, it's different every day. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, now I will go ahead and put in, I want to use this gingham for the weekend banner. And let me see, this is what I think I'm going to have to turn upside down, guys. I try to get all these different washies in here because they're so stinking cute. There's that, and then we'll put the weekend, oops, sorry, uh, I feel like I want to be able to have most of it showing, there we go, 
Okay, cool. Okay, so I think, see, I almost put the cap on the back of my pen. You're not supposed to do that because it could scratch, but I'm so, um, it's just force of habit because I don't want to lose my cap that I tend to want to first do that. So I just caught myself. Okay, so I'll put my reading here, which I've been terrible at, and I try to do 30 minutes. And then my water is here, and that's 70 ounces. And then walk Otis. Okay, um, now, let's see, I've got my washi, and then my habit trackers. Okay, so now I think I'm ready to start doing some of my appointments. And I like to color code. I don't know why, just my brain works that way. I love it. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do work stuff in red and then home family type stuff, personal stuff in black. Um... And then some of the other more like just fun stuff I do with the deco boxes. So let me, let me do work first. Um, and I will write on the labels before I stick them in place. Okay, so I said work was going to be red, right? I think so. Okay, so. And then I have a little staff meeting for staff meetings little script. These are just weekly meetings. Um, they report to our CFO, COO, and so he has just his directors um, meet every Wednesday and we do updates with him. So that's that. And then I have a certification webinar right after that. Um, this is for pandemic um, compliance advisor for the meetings industry. So there's a lot more that we have to be diligent about as meeting planners with the pandemic. And well, right now we're not even allowed to do in-person meetings in our state, but um, when we get back to it, um, there's a lot more added to our responsibilities in terms of the creating a safe and healthy environment for our attendees. Um, so that's what that is. It's a certificate program. And then virtual platform. I feel like my handwriting is better when I write with a little bit thicker font. Like I really like 0.7, actually more than 0.5, but the Villa Beautiful pens only come in a 0.5. Um, and also I really kind of need to write with a smaller point because my handwriting's so big. Um, that I don't always fit in the width of the column. Okay, so that's my review at three. Okay, and then, oh, that's kind of crooked. I think I need my tweezers to help me out here. <laughs> okay, and then Friday, we're doing our holiday Zoom party. We usually have a really nice um, staff party at the end of the year. Everybody really looks forward to it, um, but things are different this year as we know. Um, so we're still doing something as a Zoom. Um, we mailed out little gift boxes to everybody in advance. Um, so everybody still got a little something Okay, and then um, personal. So I found this free like um, webinar that um, Primal Video does on like how to organically grow your um, YouTube channel. Um, so I'm checking that out there. And then Otis has a vet appointment. English Bulldogs get a lot of ear infections, and so his ears are a little, they're a little aggravated right now, so I'm just taking him in um, so we can try to 
nip it in the bud before it gets bad. He's actually done pretty good this year um, and not had as many as, uh, as, he, as he has in the past. So hopefully we're doing something right. Okay, and then Sophie has an ortho appointment. Both of my girls had braces and um, the younger one was able to get hers off right before the shutdowns in March. But the older one wasn't able to and she ended up having to wear her braces for like two months longer than she should have. She was so upset by that. I felt so bad for her. Um, okay, and then my boss's birthday. We have to do something with that. Why don't we do one of these um, deco boxes here on this sheet? Um, maybe this one. I feel bad because normally we would do something kind of fun for my boss in the office and we're all working remote so I can't do anything for him. Okay, so his birthday is the 8th. Just going to put that right there. Just so I remember to text him. Okay, and then our garbage day is on Wednesdays. Um... And we only have recycle every other day. I mean, sorry, every other week. So I always have to go outside and look at what the neighbors are doing um, to figure out if I need to put my garbage cans out or not. Okay, and then over here, I know I need to buy... I need to buy mason jars for my candied nuts that I give away. Um, there's obviously a bit of a, a run on the jars because I've been to three stores and where I normally buy them and they are all out. Okay, so next, um, my daughter only has soccer on Thursday this week. And so um, I think I will just use, what was I using, black? Um. So yeah, I'm kind of nervous about being able to find all the jars that I need. Like in a normal year, I'm making close to 40 jars, at least 36. Um, but since not everybody's in the office, um, I'm only making it for the, the essential staff at our office that are going in every day just so they have a little treat. And then I make them for family. Okay, that's kind of a big sticker for there, but I like it. Um, okay, what else am I missing? Um, this will get filled in as I go. Um, same meetings pop up, so I'll fill in here as well. And then I always leave the weekend blank. We don't really have any plans, although I do. If I'm going to do a Christmas card, I do need, get, do need to get a photo of my kids and Otis. Um, so that's probably on the plan. Um, and then I kind of do my chores on here um, towards the end of the week, just depending on what's coming up. And then also I'm trying to, I'm trying to get into the uh, clean mama's regime and she kind of does um, a little bit every day instead of clumping it all on the weekend. And so I want to try to break myself of the habit of just spending my whole weekend cleaning house. So I think that's it for this plan with me. I'm going to let it go until we get into the week and we'll flesh it out more as we go. So yeah, I did it. I did it, friends. Thank you for following along with me today on my first plan with me. Let me know your feedback in the comments. Um, and I think that's it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can catch future content on my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.